Hey everybody, this is Benzino of The Wild Report, and today we're going to be learning about the Henson Zorb Weaver. Fall is an important season for the spiders of North Carolina. Every September and October, dozens of species reach reproductive maturity and emerge from their hiding places to spin webs, feed, and deposit their eggs. Among the most visible and most feared of these fall species are the orb weavers. After an unsuccessful search in the woods, I turned my attention to some vegetation near my house and quickly stumbled upon some really cool arachnids. Alright, so we're looking for the Hintz orb weaver around my house. It's a species that we filmed a really long time ago. We didn't do a great job. I'd like to do a lot better job of filming them. Um, but what we found here, actually, this isn't a Hintz orb weaver, it's a different species. You might know them as riding spiders. These are black and yellow garden spiders. We've also um, filmed these before. They're a really neat species. This one is an adult female. And you can see where they get their name. This web right there, that kind of cross-stitch patterning, that is why they have the name Riding Spider. Now these are totally harmless. Um, just like other war weavers, they are totally harmless to you. They cannot actually, their venom is non-toxic to humans. So it's made specifically for their insect prey, not for humans, man. And they often drop little lifelines like that. Um, but individuals like this are adult females. Um, the males are much smaller and less colorful. They're really, really neat spiders. And this is actually the species that influenced Charlotte's Web, so that's pretty cool if you didn't know that already. Ah, don't fall again. If you do handle them on your hands, just be aware that they will poop on you and they will drop little lifelines like you saw her doing. That is your web. Good job. All right, you can't see it right now because it's buried in this bush. The spider we want is actually right in here. You can get closer, Brooks, if you want. I can try and part the cues here. There she is, that's gorgeous. Hey, baby. Now, she's probably sheltering here to get out of the wet of the rain. Spiders aren't huge fans of water. Because this bush is pretty dense. That is exactly what I was looking for. Can I pick you up, please? Yes, thank you. Sweet, guys. Check it out. Now, this is the Hintz Orb Weaver, which is one of the most common spiders that people see in their yards or around their house during this kind of late summer, early fall season. Now lots and lots of people take down their webs and squish them when they see them because they do look a little bit scary. But there's absolutely no reason to fear these incredible spiders. These are just, they're in the orb weaver family, just like the black and yellow garden spider that you just saw me film. Um, that means that their venom is designed for insects. It is not designed to um, injure humans at all. Now, if you got bit, it would probably feel about like a mosquito bite. It might be a little itchy and a little red, but it would not do anything more than that. There are no long-term health concerns associated with the bites of the Hintz orb weaver. Now, these are pretty easy species to identify if you're looking down on her. She has kind of red at the top of the legs, but other than that, She's totally brown all over, except, and you can't see it very well here, um, but her belly has two pretty defined little spots that are white or yellow, um, which is another easy way to identify these spiders. Now, as orb weavers, these are web-weaving spiders, um, so these will construct pretty big webs, actually. I've seen them up to around six or eight feet across, which is pretty impressive. Um, unwary insects will fly or crawl into those webs, get tangled up. These guys will come down, wrap them up, and then inject that venom. Now to consume their prey, these spiders will actually inject them with digestive enzymes and then slurp up the inside, just like a smoothie. They are capturing uh, up to hundreds or thousands of insects even in their lifetime. Um, insects like mosquitoes, which carry lots of diseases. But I'm certain that you'd rather have one or two of these awesome spiders around your house than things like cockroaches or mosquitoes irritating you day in and day out. They are food for lots of animals, so lots of birds will eat spiders, lots of reptiles will eat spiders. Um, other spiders also eat spiders. So there are records of this species being preyed upon by jumping spiders and wolf spiders, although that's a little more uncommon, especially if these guys are in a web. 
So these spiders are found in a pretty wide variety of habitats throughout the southeastern United States. Um, we're actually right now pretty much in their like optimal habitat. It's a house. It's literally a house. Um, you can find these all over the woods as well, but because we've constructed shelters that keep them out of the rain and attract bugs with our lights, there's no reason for these spiders not to hang out near things like outdoor picnic shelters or our front porch, which is where we're filming right now. Um, so you can find them in places like that. Most commonly, these are seen in October throughout most of the southeast or in late September right now. The reason they come out in late fall, the reason they're more visible then, is because they're feeding and then they're depositing their egg sacs. Now those egg sacs can contain over a thousand baby spiders, which is absolutely crazy. Now once those baby spiders hatch, they will each have a little silk um, parachute almost that they'll use to move to a new location through the wind. The mother will unfortunately pass away throughout the winter, um, but next spring all of those little babies will hatch um, and that will be the next generation of war weavers. This really is a really neat little species. I mean, I know lots of people have um, fears of spiders because they're, especially these guys, because they are hairy, they're kind of big, they're kind of brown, but there's no reason to fear them at all. They're so neat and they mean absolutely no harm, as you can clearly see. All right, everyone, this has been an awesome spider to work with today. I'm so glad we could show the species to you. Once again, absolutely no reason to be scared of these or attempt to harm them in any way. We'll get her right back in her bush. Can you go back? Can you go back to your bush? Well, do you want to go back? I'm gonna put her on the wall. Yeah, you gonna try that? Mm-hmm. Let's stick her in this corner. Can you go back over here? It's dry over here. Check it out. Well, everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Hints Orb Weaver. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content, coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you're interested in more video clips and photos from my adventures, be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram pages, at The Wild Report. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno, of The Wild Report, signing out.